having studied about latches and flip flops and uh, very specifically the D flip flop, uh, it's also interesting to ask the question, what is the equivalent of the truth table that we had for combinational circuits, right? So, uh, just to recollect, if you had a block like this, right, um, you have inputs I0, I1, some IN, outputs O0, O1, OM, right? Each output is a function of only the inputs IN, right? So, there are N plus 1 inputs and M plus 1 outputs and K element of uh, 1 to M or 0 to M, I am sorry, right? Yeah, so essentially each output was just a function of the input at that particular time, right? And with some delay, the output would stabilize, right? So therefore, when we discussed how do you describe this system fully, we said that we could describe it using a truth table. Right, and basically we said inputs I0, I1, IN, outputs O0, O1, OM, and we just described 2 power um, N plus 1 combinations of inputs or from all zeros to all ones, and we described the corresponding outputs, right. Now, when we talk about this sequential element, it is not going to be the same, okay. So, you have an input which is called the clock, you have a D and you have a Q, right. So, now we could try to do something very similar, right. Uh, so, the inputs to this system are obviously clock and D and you have only one output Q, right. So, we will start uh, you know, we could actually do this 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, right? Now, when you look at the case when the clock is equal to 1, right? When the clock is equal to 1, remember the multiplexer was going to just allow D to go through. I mean, assuming this is a, uh, uh, oh, this is not even a positive edge, okay? I am not even talking about uh, a flip flop here, by the way. I am talking about a latch. Okay, a, a D latch, right? So, when the clock is 1, D is just going to go out to Q. That means I can describe this state like this, 0 and 1, okay? Now, the issue with the other things, right? When the clock is 0, but the, you know, and D is changing from 0 to 1, 1 to 0, we already saw the latch is simply going to ignore any transitions on D in the opaque state, right? So, this is basically when the latch is opaque. It's you very useful to get used to this uh, terminology as well. Transparent, okay? The problem is in the opaque state, the clock is now not going to, you know, uh, the clock being zero, the latch is not going to respond to D. So, really this one does not matter, okay. It said don't care. What really matters is what was the state of Q when the clock actually shut off, right. When the, when the latch went from transparent to opaque, that is it sampled the data. All that matters is what was the state of Q at that time because that state of Q is going to be held using that cross coupled inverter, right? And therefore, the way we will describe this, you know, uh, clock D and Q, right, is if the clock is 0, it does not matter what the input is, the Q will not change. Okay, if it is, if Q was 0, it will continue to be 0. If Q was 1, it will continue to be 1. Okay, so in some sense, the output of the latch is not even dependent on the input, it is dependent on itself, right? 
at the previous state okay and of course when the clock is one then this thing just simply behaves like a combinational circuit in fact it does nothing it just it does nothing to the input it just allows the input to go to the output therefore this is what we will call the function table of this d latch right so uh, you know this is a loose way of writing it but it sort of conveys the key message because uh, we don't want to say if q equal to if the previous state was zero right that also we'll come to later by the way we will describe it in terms of its previous state and current state and all that but uh, for now we are just going to stick to this function table so the equivalent of a truth table for uh, sequential elements is essentially going to be a simple function table right and this is only for a latch for a flop because it is going to respond to uh, you know the uh, edge right remember this is level triggered and we are talking of a positive level that is when clock equal to 1 d is going to q right when you come to a flop we are going to talk about the master slave version of this and therefore it cannot be uh, you know you can't even uh, represent it using this because we are now talking of what happens when it samples the data right and therefore that will be another terminology that we will use for flops but we will get to that at a suitable time mm -hmm.